Hello and welcome everybody. I'm Rose Smith from Absolute Soul Secrets and I've got this week's Pick a Card Weekly Tarot Reading. Uh, we're in winter here in Australia so we're all getting rugged up. Beautiful day here on the Gold Coast. It's very sunny but it's very cold in the shade, cold in the house. The nights are getting really chilly billy at the moment. We're going to pick these cards, so pick a number now between 1 and 5 and uh, also today Venus and Mercury are going into Cancer. This is beautiful for staying at home, dealing with your family, looking after yourself. Self-care is very important, especially in the winter time, any time really. Uh, and um, dealing with friends and family, it's just the time to do it. With Venus there's a lot of love and affection and warmth around, which we need. Uh, and with Mercury in Cancer, there's these messages, you know, the vibes are coming through, the communications. There's also a lot of um, beautiful thoughts uh, that are going on behind the scenes as well. Let's go to the board and pick these cards now. So we're going to do the um, five cards. Hope you pick one. We're starting with card number one. Okay, what do I see? Uh, I am seeing the sun actually which is great uh, because that's all about insight and awareness uh, intuition I'm picking up more about I mean there's everything beautiful with the sun isn't there it's the source of all life um, but I'm picking up more about a spiritual awareness that's coming through uh, and an understanding maybe the penny drops for you in some way something you might have been thinking about for a long time that you haven't been able to figure out and now it just goes Duh! and the penny's dropped and actually I had a flash this morning Whenever I see Steve Bannon, which fortunately isn't very often, <laughs> but he always has two, this card's come up, I'll explain this in a moment, he always has two shirts on, one shirt, he's usually rugged up, now I, I haven't looked or paid any attention at all, but I always notice these two shirts, and it's like to me, this morning the penny dropped, and it was, I think he's got some um, medical problems that he's not actually doing anything about I doubt he is under medical care he could have hypothyroidism which is very rare or not very but quite rare in a man uh, and I just don't think he's done anything about it so I think he's wearing two shirts and the being rugged up and whatever uh, you know because he's cold because he's got hypo thyroidism that's really very dangerous if you don't get the medication for that it at the very least it certainly affects your judgment and i have hypothyroidism and i'm always tweaking my <laughs> medication and treatment um, but if you don't have treatment of it it definitely affects your judgment uh, so you may have had good judgment in the past and it will go down the toilet with hypothyroidism believe me um, so the card card number one is the lover's card and that means when the energies are integrating within your personality you get that kernel of understanding you get that penny dropping that that aha moment that's why that you know and i hadn't been thinking about steve bannon because who does um <laughs> uh, but it just flashed in my mind this morning the two shirts the collars you always see two collars there and then you see the jackets over the top uh, and then it's like, well, he's cold. That's why he's doing it. And he's cold because of hypothyroidism. So this is the penny dropping. Sometimes it doesn't feel comfortable. Sometimes, especially in a relationship, when you're slowly integrating the energies of your partner, it can be very push and pull, very on and off, uncommitted. You don't know where you are and that sort of thing. But the, the angels are looking out for you. Okay, so there can be passion. Uh, and equally that can turn and turn into something else down the track it might be something like disgust or um, some other feeling where you don't want a bar of them okay so that's just something to remember this is a major arcana that can change your life number one okay we went all around the world there I'm sorry <laughs> number two what do I see for you number two okay um Gee, I don't know how to explain this. It's a grid. It's like a wire grid. Uh, it can provide a framework for you to learn from. 
It can provide a step-by-step -step approach to something. Alternatively, it can also feel like a trap, like you're in jail, uh, that, you know, um, maybe that you've been restricted in some way. Let's have a look and see what the cards say about that. The card that comes up is the Ten of Wands. You may feel the burden of carrying too much, okay? This is to do with the past uh, because there's this mountain in the background here and um, these are things you've already accomplished, things you've already done. You've learnt what you've had to learn and you're down the other side of it now but still you're carrying the tendrils or you know the energy from the past that you no longer need to carry. So I would suggest to you that you make a deal with yourself to drop the burdens of the past because they're not relevant now. There's a lot of green here in this card which suggests there's a lot of growth and development for you as a 10. You've reached the end of that cycle now, so you can just drop it. The 10 is a 1 and a 0, of course, in numerology. Well, the 1 is the new beginnings that are coming to you. The 0 is waiting patiently, you know, in the land of limbo for the new beginnings to start. It's almost like you know that these new things are coming your way, these new opportunities, but they're not quite here yet. You know they're coming. It's like being a little bit pregnant, isn't it? You know, <laughs> you know it's going to happen, <laughs> but you're not actually delivering the baby right at the minute. Drop the past. It's all happening. Ten of wands. You can feel renewed, rejuvenated, and re-inspired again about something new. All right, the creativity is a key word, of course, with this card as well. You may be feeling new, uh, creative, more creative about a new thing. Number three, what do I see for number three? Okay, I've got a ladder here. It's on the diagonal, so it's not it's not straight up, straight up like vertical. It's the, <laughs> I can't I can't sort of do it very well. Uh, it's on the diagonal and so it's an easier climb than being a sharp vertical um, ladder. Okay, so I'm not saying it's easy, it's not easy, but it's easier and it might take you a bit longer to get where you want to go, but spiritually you are improving. Well done. You don't give up, even if it takes a bit longer, it's worth it. This is a hard choice. Mm, I'm going to go with this one. Oh, it's the Five of Swords. Okay, maybe write down the ways that you've been dominated or oppressed in your life, okay? And yeah, it can be situations, it can be your country, your government, especially if you live in the UK. Oh my God, I'm hearing nightmare stories out of the UK at the moment. Uh, not only people freezing to death in the winter, which I can't even get my head around because in Australia nobody freezes to death here. Um, not even in Tasmania, I don't think. I've never heard of it. Um, but uh, people um, are suffering from malnutrition. I just find that absolutely appalling. And we're talking tens of thousands or maybe even millions of people. I don't know, hundreds of thousands of people. Sorry, not tens. Hundreds of thousands or maybe even millions of people suffering from malnutrition in the UK I just can't yeah please let me know in the comments these are things I hear I'm not actually there at the moment so I don't really know but I'll tell you what I do know I started going there in 1987 from 1987 till about oh I don't know 2015 I don't remember the last time I was there a while ago um, every time I went which was probably about seven times it was worse so because I haven't been for a while now, I hate to think what it's like, but this is what I'm hearing. List the ways you've been oppressed and who is oppressing you, okay? Other people, your government, um, your peers, your family, your partner, who is it that's oppressing you? And then put yourself because bottom line is at some level you're buying into the oppression and you've got to change yourself okay if you want to change the oppression you've got to change yourself okay so start with you first see here big pair of um, secateurs you can cut off the situation or the person or the energy maybe it's your partner it doesn't mean you have to get a divorce for example or break up but it means you have to change something about yourself and cut off that um, 
oppression. Uh, so there's a big pair of secateurs here, there's a sword here, there's another pair of secateurs in the background there. You may not necessarily see the ways that you can cut the past. There's my dog down at the driveway like half a kilometre away and I can hear him barking. I don't know what he's going on about. It starts with you, okay? And it's to do with your thinking, okay? So it's time to restructure your thoughts around feeling trapped. All right, number four. Number four, what do I see? Okay, I've got a bit of a pain in my face on the left side that just started. Uh, so this could be about losing face. Um, maybe you were wrong about something. I was wrong in a minor way about something. And I had to go back to the person and say, you were right, I was wrong. You can gloat next time you see me. And I laughed, but it's true, I was wrong. So admit when you're wrong and just say, I'm sorry, I was wrong. Uh, and also there's something in my teeth. So this goes back to childhood and maybe you weren't allowed to be wrong when you were a child. Okay, it's okay to be wrong sometimes because you can learn. Okay, so you know these technology companies, especially these young startups, they're saying things like fail, fail lots of times. Uh, so you're doing something and you're learning each time. Okay, so reiteration and keep on changing and changing and changing till you get it right. The card that comes up is the Ten of Cups. This keeps coming up today. Time to stay home, to really look after yourself, have a lot of self-care at the moment, especially for your um, family as well and anybody who comes to visit you. Little children may be involved. Uh, it's time for baking. It's time for whatever you can do uh, to express affection and warmth, especially in Australia. Uh, we need all the warmth we can get at the moment. Home and hearth. A beautiful, loving, kind energy that is very nurturing. Number five is alive. Number five is alive. What do I see for you? Okay, the door opening up. Wow, uh, it's a bunker that I see. <laughs> okay, now there's one thing about, you know, being at home and making yourself um, comfortable and, you know, having lots of provisions. I always tell people to stock up in winter time anyway just so you don't have to go out in the bad weather um, but this is a bunker uh, maybe if you've picked card number five ask how have you been in a bunker how have you been isolating yourself away has it been fear or anxiety that is keeping you away from people keeping you away from the world i'm going to pick that card there which is dying to come out. It's the King of Pentacles. It's about enjoying the rewards of your work. And perhaps you haven't been enjoying yourself enough. You've been hiding yourself away if you pick card number five. Uh, but this is saying go out, have a good time, spend some of your money that you might have made. Use your intuition. Now, King of Pentacles, you know, when you're dealing with money, I always tell people to be logical and rational when you're dealing with money. However, with this, there is some level of intuition because he's wearing aubergine. This could be a man, but not necessarily, but it is a masculine energy. And it's usually a more mature person. You could meet someone who's very wise and very experienced and knows how to make money or to at least improve your finances. Somebody might help you out with money at the very least they might give you some good advice okay uh, so it can be a woman too uh, especially a uh, postmenopausal woman uh, somebody who has great understanding of the world okay uh, and it could be you you may pay that role for somebody else and help them out in some way too all right so these are our cards and we've only got one major card here which is the lovers card one swords cups pentacles really good balance across all of the realms there uh, so that suggests this week is more or less a normal week maybe a little bit um, less active especially for australians and new zealanders uh, because of the cold weather um, really this uh, ten of cups is the theme uh, it's really saying you know um, stay close to home and um, don't try to do too much okay let go of the burdens and have a think about how you can free yourself 
Uh, okay, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching today. Leave a comment and a like and subscribe and be alive. If you're new, I would appreciate that. Uh, mostly uh, have a very wonderful week. I'll see you all again soon. Thanks and bye for now. Oops. Thanks so much for watching. Please visit my website, AbsoluteSoulSecrets.com for all things spiritual. Have a lovely day.